It's no secret to farmers or ag professionals that working outdoors all day can be tough, especially on your feet. The long hours spent walking and the continual exposure to harsh environments can lead to painful blisters and various other foot injuries. For farmers with diabetes, however, these common foot ailments can pose a very serious threat. Nerve damage and poor blood circulation in the extremities make it difficult for foot injuries or infections to be realized and equally difficult to be healed. This means a cut or sore on your foot could get worse before you even know it's there. If left untreated, these open sores, ulcers, or infections could eventually result in gangrene and necessitate the amputation of the foot. The good news is, with proper care, these negative symptoms can be avoided. But first, we must understand what diabetes is. Currently, there are approximately 20 million Americans with diabetes, and of that number, up to a third uh, are completely unaware that they have it. And that's due in large part to uh, just a general lack of knowledge about the disease. Diabetes is a medical condition in which high levels of glucose or sugar in, is in the blood. Uh, glucose comes from the foods that we eat. It, it serves as a source of fuel for all the cells in your body. In order for glucose to get in your bloodstream, it needs insulin produced by the pancreas. Diabetes occurs when the pancreas does not produce insulin at all, known as type 1 diabetes, or the body fails to use in insulin appropriately. Um, the glucose builds up in the bloodstream. This is known as type 2 diabetes. Because of, of diabetes, serious health complications can occur, such as heart attacks or strokes, as well as kidney disease or kidney failure, uh, even blindness or even the amputation of, of limbs, uh, including toes, feet, and, and sometimes lower extremities. Well, how can I prevent that from happening? To answer that question, there are numerous precautions that should be taken by diabetics in order to properly care for their feet. First and foremost on that list, keeping them dry and clean at all times. This means planning ahead for the workday by always carrying a change of dry cotton socks for wet feet. Since diabetes is known to damage nerves and reduce the feeling of pain, heat, and cold in your limbs, there needs to be special attention paid to water temperatures when bathing. Before washing, check the temperature of the water with your elbow or thermometer to ensure the temperature is at a comfortable level. After bathing, make sure to dry your feet very carefully, especially in between your toes. This is also an excellent time to examine your feet and perform any needed maintenance to the toenails. Remember, when clipping, you always cut across the toenails in a straight line. This practice will prevent the formation of painful ingrown nails. Your doctor can provide you with more detailed instructions as needed. Conducting a further inspection of each foot, be sure to identify and treat any cuts, sores, blisters, or redness that you may find. This is very important if you have nerve damage or poor blood flow. Farmers do cover a lot of ground as they work each day, and wearing well-fitting shoes or boots is an absolute must. The correct footwear should eliminate any areas of high pressure inside the shoe. This may mean wearing specially prescribed shoes or inserts to help effectively distribute the pressure on your feet. To find more information about proper footwear and what recommendations are best suited for your feet, contact a healthcare specialist in this area, such as an orthotist. Working in agriculture often requires long hours behind the wheel of a tractor or various other farm equipment. Unfortunately, these tasks involve extended periods of sitting which can restrict the blood supply to the feet. Diabetics should avoid any crossing of the legs while performing these chores and routinely take short breaks from the sitting position to help maintain optimal blood circulation. Suggested exercises include wiggling your toes inside your shoes and repeatedly moving your ankles up and down. Doing this several times throughout the day can be an effective means of stimulating healthy circulation in the feet. The specific time frames of these exercises, as well as additional methods to try, should be discussed with your personal physician. Again, every individual is different and only a doctor or healthcare provider can recommend what procedures are most appropriate for you and your health needs.